Hello and welcome. Today I will be showing you how you can create a tree view using Python. Now what a tree view is, is to look that when you open a folder and then click into it, it's you see a tree view. And the best way to show you is by giving you an example. So I've taken you a snippet and the area we're concerned with is this area here. I'll I'll blank it out to the bits that we're not interested in. So that's not tree view, neither is that, nor this sort of area here. We're just interested in this bit here. This is the tree view look where you've got the name, date modified, type and size. Then we've got our sort of folder or file names and then the, re the relevant sort of um, factors relating to that file or folder. This is the tree view we're looking at. And we're going to be recreating some this sort of look in this tutorial. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is show you our final result for this tutorial. And this is it here. We have our similar tree view look with column one to column five. We have our first row, second row, and also here. And what also I'm going to show you is a, an added functionality, which you don't necessarily see in the directories, is the sort of sub levels you can have, which is a, for example, you know, you can just click into this first row, the plus, and then you can see these sub levels here. So we'll be recreating that as well in this tutorial. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is just blanket everything out. So we just start from scratch and then I'll explain everything line by line as we go along. Okay, let's keep going. There probably is a quicker way of doing this. But cool. Okay, so having hashed it out, the first thing we need to do is then import our TK inter module. So we import TK inter, the main module, as TKR. So wherever we reference TKR, we are calling the TK inter module. The next thing we need to do is import a subsection of the TK inter module called TTK. And this is where the tree view function sits. So wherever we reference TK inter dot TTK, we're calling that TKR TTK, just to clarify the difference. Cool. So the first thing we need to do then is create our main screen where the tree view will sit into. And we do that by typing in TKR, calling our main TK inter module dot TK. And we've equated that to screen. So screen is the name of our main screen. The next thing I've done is I've specified a geometry by typing in screen dot geometry. And then in quotations and in the brackets, I've given it a random geometry by 800 by 200. And you can change this later on to fit perfectly and really nicely around your widgets. The next thing I always do is I always go to the bottom, type in tkr.mainloop, and that basically enables the whole uh, module to go together and to run properly. Otherwise you get some horrendous error messages. So if you run it now, we'll have this really blank screen here ready for our tree view look to go into. Okay, cool. The next thing we need to do is create our tree view view, I guess. So the first thing we need to do is we're gonna call our TK into sub TTK module. So type in T, T, if you type in TKR TTK dot tree view, and then in brackets screen, what you've done here is you've created the tree view layout and you've put it into your main screen here. And I've given that the variable tree time. So tree time is where we're gonna put everything into now from now onwards to create this really nice folder-esque view. And then what I've also done at the bottom is if you type in tree time dot pack and then side equals tkr dot top, so it fills in the top from the top down and then fill it tkr dot x, meaning it will fill the whole width of the screen. By doing this at this stage, it will enable you to see your uh, tree view look as you add more things into it. So you can monitor it as it goes along and see whether it is what you're expecting. So if you run it now, notice that it's changed ever so slightly. We have seemingly one column here and we have it into our, we have put it into our main screen. So this is all going into our main screen. 
Right, the next thing we need to do is create more columns. So we've only got seemingly one column there. So that's not gonna work. The next thing we need to do is, we, so we just need to create more columns. So if we type in tree time and then in square brackets this time, and then in quotation marks type in columns, we're calling columns, and then we're gonna add some extra columns. So column one we saw was automatically added. So we just need to add in four more columns in this case. So I've just called them column two, column three, column four, column five. And so I've, I've done that by typing in tree time and then square brackets columns, then put equals and then in brackets, essentially created a list where I've put in the name of each of my columns. So if you run that again, notice that what was one long highlighted area is now split into many different highlighted areas. The next thing we need to do is format each one of these columns. So in this tree view, we have to be doing this individually. We're individually formatting each column. So the first column here is always the hashtag zero, and we're giving it a fixed width and a minimum width. This means what the difference is between width and min width is that with this tree view, you can actually change the width of the columns similar to then if you use Excel, or you know you, by dragging it across and then the width it starts at you know is 50 but if you drag it across it will never go the width will never be less than 25 and so i can show you an example of that what i mean once i've done the same to all the other columns here by typing in the name of the column and so in this case column two and then column three and then column four and then column five specifying the same width each time and then the same min width equals 25. So let me show you what I mean. So we can then pull this across. This is So the width is the starting width, but I can then drag it across, but it will never go. I can shrink the column size, but it will never go below 25. That is what min width is. Cool. So now we've defined each column. If we then go to defining each column heading, we can see here that this is what we're doing now. Now what we're doing is we are changing, we're giving each column a title. So in this case, if we go to our first column, which is our hashtag zero, and we type in tree time dot heading, then in brackets type in hashtag zero, and also in quotation marks, then comma, and then text equals, and then column one, so in this case, the first column will be called column one. Type in comma, comma after that, and then anchor equals tkr.w. tkr.w will anchor it in the west direction. So it will always be on the left side. So if we run that, and notice that for column one, we have a title that's on the left side. Like this. Um, and the column width will never go below 25. Cool. Next thing we do is do the same thing for the four other columns, giving it a column name and anchoring it to the left. We've done that here. Column one, two, three, four, and five. The next thing we need to do then is insert data into each one of our rows. And we can do that by using the insert function. So if we type in tree time, the name of our, our tree view, dot insert, we can start to insert values, both in the main level that we saw here, uh, not this example, or in uh, we saw earlier, and then using in the sub level. Cool, so the first thing to do is let's create our first row. So if we type in tree time dot insert, and then the first, and in brackets type in blank for the first string. We don't want to insert anything here. And then comma and then one. And then comma text equals first row. That will insert a value, the, the text first row into our first column. And then 
if we type in comma values equals and then in brackets type in in this case b1 c1 d1 e1 e1 that will put values into columns two three four and five cool and if i equate that to row one we've now got a variable where we can use row one later on to insert sub values to values into a sub level but if we look at run this now and we can see here that we have our first row and we've got values inputted into our first row first row column one and then b1 c1 d1 e1 cool so if we do the same then for row two exactly the same thing and then run it we've got second row i've changed the text to be second row here we've got um values equals and instead of b1 we put b2 instead of c1 we put c2 d1 we put d2 instead of e1 we put e2 we can see that here we see that second row b1 b2 c2 d2 and e2 try and make it as simple as possible cool so that's essentially us populating our folder sort of tree view the next thing is to then create a sub level so if you just exit this press any key to continue so let's create our second level so instead of so all this was inserted into tree time but now we're going to to create this sub level we're going to be inserting into our row so how this works so far is we've created our main screen then we've put tree time into our main screen and then we've put our main first level into tree time so that's how it all links together but this time we're going to put values into our row so going down a level further so if we do exactly the same thing with insert type of insert but instead of having blank the first bit we have row one and then comma end so it's just going to insert everything and then type in text equals and then in quotation marks put a1.1 just as like a random text for your sub level i could put let's change that to i don't know instead of saying saying a1.1 let's put um sub level first row then put comma values equals and then b1.1 as like a sub level of our b1 then c1.1 as a sub level of our c1 and so on for d and e and then we run it now and then we can also plus the box we here we have our sub level first row b1.1 c1.1 d1.1 and so on and so forth pretty cool the next thing is to have tree time dot insert and do the same thing and just add an extra row in our first sub level and if we run that it's a bit different but it's exactly the same thing again and that's how we can just populate this tree view to fill whatever you want so that's it i just want to give you an introduction into tree view hopefully that gave you a really good insight as to how this works and how to populate it please subscribe to my channel and please do share it to someone who you feel may benefit from this thanks very much for watching